Hello everyone, you're welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's a pleasure to, you know, have you join me today again. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you three different fantastic, you know, applications that you can apply to that are currently open. You know, it's been a very long time that I did something like this because, you know, I received feedbacks from people that um, I should try to reduce the time of the you know that the, the duration of the videos that i make so that you know people can be able to um watch it to the end and be able to get so that is one of the reasons i try to you know shorten the videos try to may, maybe just do one application in one video and all but then looking at the numbers of videos that i need to make for this second semesters now i think i'm going to be you know if necessary I'm going to be making maybe two videos in one, I mean two applications in one video going forward. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three different schools that are currently open and that you can apply to. So uh, if you're seeing this channel for the first time, my name is Knowledge Blog and I share with you opportunities abroad in Brazil and some other countries. So if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to like and don't forget to also share with someone that may be interested. It's going to be a roller coaster today. So the first school I'm going to be sharing with you is uh, the school known as the Federal University of Belandia. So they are having this particular program. And uh, let me just read straight. It says Master's and Doctorate Selection Process Announcement for the second semester in 2025. So the guidelines, the forms, and the document templates, all of them, you are going to see them in this website. So I'm going to be dropping the, uh, I'm going to be dropping the, um, the link to this particular um, site in the video description box. So let, well, let's take a look. Let's just look at the. Um, application itself. It says every year the postgraduate program in architecture and urbanism accepts application for the selection process according to its own notice. So the attachment is down here. I'm going to show you shortly. So um, it's read further. To apply, the candidate must submit the application form with the candidate's data and documentation as per the notice. Everything that is needed. I've gone through the notice and uh, I see that it is something that you can apply for. After the registration has been approved by the program board, the session committee applies the selection test and establishes the ranking order of the candidate. So don't be perturbed by this test. You are seeing the test is going to be an oral test and it's going to be conducted online. Like I told you, I've gone through the processes, uh, the process and all of that. So let's look. The vacancy are intended for graduates of long-term undergraduate courses, master's degree, and academic or professional master's courses recognized by the Ministry of Education in Brazil in the areas of applied social sciences, arts, humanities, and engineering. The vacancies available are for the area of concentration and uh, for the PBG research line. So try to look for the research line because this part is very, very important, especially when it comes to writing of your proposal. A lot of people come to this channel to glean so many things, so many information. I, I'm happy about that anyway. So it's a it's a it's a good thing that okay the information i share on this channel some people are also using it to you know make they're also using it to make not only videos they're also using it to i don't know make money so to say so but it's okay it's okay in as much that you are not changing the information or you are not uh using it to fraud people yeah that is the part that i will not agree with so guys if you are interested, kindly come down here and look for the announcement. This is the announcement. Download this uh, uh, this announcement. It's a PDF file. I've downloaded it. I translated it. And I checked that uh, it is something that a foreigner can apply to. This is the registration form and this is the curriculum score that you need. All of this, you need them to do the application. And this is the important date. This calendar is very, very important. The application is going to uh, be from this particular day you know it's just like a short notice but then they've released this uh, notice out so that people can prepare get every document uh, needed so the registration is going to be from the 6th to 23rd of june up to the 27th of june okay so and it will end by midnight 11 45 on the 27th of june so the result of 
document analysis is going to be done in July. Okay, and oral exam, like I told you, the exam is not uh, written, it's going to be oral. And the results of the second stage and final results is going to be in July. So, you know, most schools, actually, most schools, their um, resumption time for the second semester usually extends, let's say, to October, November, this, depending on the calendar of the school. But generally, all schools are supposed to start second semester around uh, August, September, okay? So, guys, if you are interested in the area of architecture, I see a lot of people asking for, you know, uh, opportunity in this area. So, this is a postgraduate program in architecture. Try as much as possible to apply. And uh, if there's any information that is not clear to you, drop a comment and I will do my best to, you know, uh, answer, to respond to the best of my knowledge and if you also want to send an email to the school don't hesitate to do that i think uh, um yeah don't hesitate to do that just, so just walk yourself around but like i said the most important thing download this editor you are seeing right here download it translate it to english this is the form you need to use for the applica uh, application itself and this is your cv punctuation document so guys it's also important that you have certificate in foreign language um, but if you are coming from an English speaking country it's a good one for you but that is not all try as much as possible to attach a document that's you know that uh, certify that at least you have this level one or two in Portuguese okay and you know I've made a video which also I'm going to be sharing uh, attaching to this video at the end of this video where you can actually learn Portuguese and get a certificate for free so guys, without further ado, we're going to be going to the second school. So don't forget, if you are yet to subscribe, consider subscribing to the channel. We are here for a roller coaster. You must move abroad by force. Okay. So it's not about just moving abroad. You must come study by force. So the next one I'm going to be sharing with you is from the prestigious university in Sao Paulo, Unicamp. Ubalandia also is also, you know, in uh, uh, very close to Sao Paulo. But then, yeah, not so far. So this one is a very good one, guys. No stress, nothing. And you can also do a direct PhD for this one. So you, as you must have known, some schools in, in Brazil, they've started the, the direct uh, PhD process or uh, the program, rather. Schools like USP, school like, like Unicamp and some other schools that are just coming up. So this one is a selection process also for second semester. So the postgraduate program in clinical medicine at the Faculty of Medical Sciences of the State University of Campinas announces the opening of application for the selection uh, process for admission in the second semester of 2025 to the master and doctorate courses in the area of health education. So again, make sure that you check this particular notice this is where you are going to get the details of this opening okay but then i'm going to be sharing with you the calendar which is very very important so it's going to be starting on the 26th today is sunday so it's going to be starting tomorrow which is monday 26th and uh, um end of registration for direct doctorate is going to be night of June. so what i'm saying is you can either apply for the direct doctorate you can apply for masters alone you can also apply for phd alone so submission of all your doc documentation for people candidates that are interested in direct doctorate is june 10. see if you ask me i will tell you to try the direct doctorate especially if you have publications right it will be a very good one but if, even though if you don't have a publication because you are starting from masters and you are going to phd you know it has so many benefits one of them is that you know you have ample time to live in, to stay in brazil and uh, you know after four years you have the opportunity to start your nationalization process isn't that fantastic so you know masters is going to be for like uh, let's say one and a half years and you're going to do the, the the phd for four years that is like five or yeah you know five or six years and before the end of it you would have done nationalization so guys, again, if you ask me, I will tell you to give the direct doctorate a shot. But then if you feel you don't have enough document or you are not certain or you are not sure or you don't like PhD, just apply for the master's. But then 
don't sleep on this opportunity come on share with someone that might be interested if this is not your area don't forget as i say on this channel that information is power when you share information with people you're actually trying to you know encourage them you're trying to empower them so the acceptance of the direct doctoral application is going to be from june 13 to uh june 13 actually so end of registration of everything is going to be june 23rd so please take note of this important date not only that submission of documentation all the documentation that you know is going to support your application the deadline is 24th call for argument and analysis of curriculum project is going to start on the 27th and the argument analysis of curriculum and project interview is going to start from july 1st and uh, we have announcements which is when I'm going to be rejoicing with you. You see your name on the list and it's going to start in July 11th, 2025. So guys, the final results, once you see your name in this second to the last, the final results is going to be out on July 18th. You know, this second to the last stage is when they will just send like an approved candidate and uh, maybe send email to people that are on the list to uh, acknowledge if they are still interested you know some people they might pass through the, all the stages but when it's getting to the last day maybe something come up but they just want to be sure that everyone that gets to the second to the last stage of it are still much interested so that's why the, there is something like a announcement of approved candidate then on the july 18th when everyone would have acknowledged they will approve i mean they will release the final results so guys Again, if you are interested, try as much as possible to send in your application. Uh, Unicamp is a, is a fantastic fantastic school. You see what class school as well. I've been there. I've, you know, I also have friends there right now. So guys, I'm encouraging you, try your, your shots, share with someone that might be interested and make sure they apply. Okay, so the last one we're going to be talking about in this video, don't forget I told you earlier that I'm going to be sharing with you three different opportunities i've talked about the first one and this is the second one so we are going to the third school like i promise you i'm sharing with you information opportunities from three different schools today and it's a very beautiful thing you know to know about these app opportunities you know these are opportunities that are very rare rare areas of you know of study so the third one we're going to be looking at is in the city of santa catarina you know this is the city where my lovely sister lives or the state is in the state of uh, florianopolis right so santa catarina so the george Mills family is from us is she's from this state so it says postgraduate studies in plant genetics resources open for application on june so my brother um, there's so many people that are looking for opportunity in this area permit me to mention my brother success in uh we are also looking for more opportunity but then you can also try your hands on this and so many other people that are looking for opportunity in the area of plant genetics or something that has to do with plants come on please try as much as possible to give this your shot it says the postgraduate program in plant genetic resources of the Center for Agricultural Sciences of the Federal University of Santa Catarina is accepting applications for the selection process for admission to master's and doctoral courses starting in the second semester of 2025. Applications are free. You don't have to pay anything. You can see that and can be submitted until June 20, exclusively through the program official website so this is where you're going to see where you submit your application but then there is a pdf or yeah the announcement where you're also going to see every necessary things that you need there are 24 places there are 24 openings in this particular application i'm talking about 12 for masters and 12 for phd so if you have done your um your first degree in plant genetics or either that has to do with genetics and you still want to continue come on try to give it your best job brazil is one of the countries that is very good in agriculture and it's because of the so many research they've done in plant you know biotechnology in molecular biology and uh, you know in genetics in general so please guys if you are looking for um programs that are very grounded in your areas of research of course think of brazil think of ufsc in you know the school in santa catarina and submit your application and i'm praying that god will grant you success so like i said 24 
24 for masters and 20 i mean 12 for masters and 12 for phd then in total there are um there are 24 so they also have their research line and it focuses on basic research and practical application in the context of conservation and sustainable use of plants biodiversity don't forget that in all of these applications i talked about two things are very very important your latest cv and your proposal and it is also important for you to write a genuine proposal don't copy chat gpt i'm saying again don't copy chat gpt it's going to be flagged and uh, if you need someone that can also help you of course you can think of me i can be of assistance and if you need someone that can also help you to overhaul the whole process of course you can reach out to me and we can talk so the final result of the session process will be announced on this 7th of august on the program's website which is where you're also going to see the application form and all of that so if you have dubida or doubts if you have doubt, if you have something that is not clear to you, of course, drop a comment and you can also send uh, them an email. You can tell them, oh, I'm from Ghana and I'm trying to apply. What are the you know, things? If you are having any difficulty, but if there's not any difficulty, come on, go ahead and submit your application. I went through the editor, the, the notice, the call notice, and look at all the requirements. So I believe it's something that someone, even though you're not living in Brazil, it is something that you can, you know, you can try. So guys, the, um, the deadline is June 20th. So please drop your application before it closes and don't forget uh, like i say i usually say it might not be in your area of study come on please share with someone that might be interested let them take it some people are actually this is their area of you no know, research they add they have uh, their first degree in this area they are also looking for how to do their second degree in this area please share with someone like that share with someone that might be interested and don't forget please uh like the video um don't forget to subscribe please if you are yet to subscribe i'm begging you and i really appreciate as many of you that have sub subscribed to the channel you know it's it's a motivation so that i can you know do more videos bring more opportunity we are helping one another just to see that uh, people's dream have been achieved that's just the soul that is just the um the goal the mission of this channel the not the name of this channel is knowledge plug so i'm asking you to plug into the channel by you know giving me your subscription and trusting me for you know more opportunities to be you know presented to be made available on this channel so until the next video i'm saying thank you see you in the next video after brevi ciao ciao